While we are waiting for the 9 Chronicles Gold Bridge to Ethereum to go live, the number of peer-to-peer -peer transactions has increased quite a lot. I'm Webs and I'll try to explain you how to safely trade with other players by using a middleman. Let's say that player A wants to buy some NCG from player B using some other crypto coin. They agree on the price, but how do they exchange the assets without risking a scam? Here comes the middleman to the rescue. The middleman acts as an escrow. He is a third party that controls the assets until the other two parties involved in the transaction meet certain conditions. But how does that work in practice? The seller gives the NCG to the middleman. The middleman confirms that he got the right amount. The buyer sends the agreed crypto to the seller. The seller confirms he received the payment. The middleman sends NCG to the buyer. The NCG has no transfer fees, so that's why we are usually recommending this method. As long as the middleman is a trustful person, this system can't fail and scams are impossible. If the seller does not give the NCG to the middleman, the transaction stops and everyone keeps their coins. If the buyer does not pay, the middleman will simply return the NCG to the seller. So nothing happens again. Having a well-established member of the community as a middleman, it's important since they are unlikely to give up the project or risk a ban for some quick cash. It's a process that takes some time and it requires attention, so that's why most of the community leaders that also do middleman services also have a fee. If you are new to 9 Chronicles, here are some useful commands and operations. In order to transfer NCG, the first step is to have the launcher up and loaded to 100% and for you to be logged in. You go to the playground and you paste there this mutation. You click the play button and that's it. You can also copy the transaction number from here. To check a transaction, you can simply paste it at the end of this link. Another way of checking if the NCG got to the right person is to check the balance of that specific account. For that, you can use this query in the playground. Or of course, you can just wait for the NCG to appear in that person's launcher. If you feel uncomfortable about trading this way, you can wait for the bridge. That will allow you to wrap your NCG into wrapped NCG and trade those on other markets, for example SushiSwap. To be safe, always keep yourself informed and check multiple times everything you do with your own assets. Have a nice day!